Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. I'm Tim, and I have a question for those that do drive their cars to airsoft games, because you probably want your car in drivable condition when you finish. Whilst an airsoft replica does not have enough power to penetrate an engine block, will it be enough to break your windshield and stop you from driving safely? We are going to put this to the test. First things first, we need to get ourselves a car, but uh, we don't have a car. Or do we? A generous donor has provided us with a car for this test. It's big, it's powerful, and it's German. This is a Mercedes E350, and it's going to get shot. Round one. We are going to start with a low-powered high kappa at 330 FPS. At first glance, it looked like that the high kappa only scuffed the windshield, but once you wiped it away, you can actually see a tiny crack, so it's not looking good for the Mercedes. Round two which is about to face something with a little more power, the GHK G5 at 360 FPS. Once I wiped away the scuff marks, I was surprised to find that despite the higher power, no cracks were made. Round three. So we need something with even more power, the VFC M40A3 at 420 FPS. Again, removing the scuff marks revealed no cracks. The German car isn't breaking under the pressure. Round 4. We need more power, so I decided to bring in my very own KJ Works KCO2. At 440 FPS, I was confident that this would crack the windscreen. But the Mercedes was the one to shatter my confidence, as again, no cracks. Final round. But my will was cracking. We needed something more powerful, and there's only one thing for the job. We are going all in with the Sistema PTW Max. It is time to bend the bend. Our point twos proved to be pointless, so we went with point threes. But we weren't satisfied with superficial damage, so we went point threes in three round burst because third time's a charm. Our Sistema Max finally scratched the Benz's windscreen. The burst fire did prove to be the most damaging, but even at near point-blank range, our efforts to render the car undrivable were simply shrugged off. The Germans had won this battle. So, what did we learn? You can smash a bonnet with the buttstock of your AEG. You can pistol whip the side mirror. You can grind and scratch the side of your car, but a stray BB from a skirmish won't damage your windscreen. But don't expect it to be nice and chipper on the way out. I'm Tim, and this has been Red Wolf TV. For a vast selection of airsoft replicas, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. Warning. The test being performed is done with permission of the car owner. We do not advocate vandalism or the destruction of property. If you haven't watched some of our previous videos, I suggest you take a look at these. Go. Do subscribe to our channel and keep up to date with our newest and coolest videos.